Well, there is the Gandhian mistake that if you are nice, you are invincible. You know, if you are good and you follow the rules and so on, that makes you invincible. Well, in real life it doesn't work that way. <laughs> you see, many good people uh, encounter rather unhappy uh, events. And um, so even good countries, even strong countries, if the circumstances are right, may meet someone stronger. And so, um, so yes, at some point, uh, India has been defeated, though not for want of uh, resistance. And in fact, you see, in the case of Islamic invasions, of course, India has held out very long. You see, in the beginning, uh, it took a number of campaigns before uh, the Arabs could conquer Sindh. And, uh, and even that was only a very peripheral part of India. Then after a while they were chased back out. And then it took some time before they could conquer Lahore, first Afghanistan, then Lahore, and then from there, uh, Mohammed Ghori really conquered a serious part of India uh, in 1192. That's already 500 years later. Uh, then the first invasion. And um, then it still took some time before they could conquer the rest. Gujarat, Orissa, they hardly ever conquered. Then ultimately Vijayanagar, another few centuries later. Even then they hadn't reached the south. So India held out pretty well, you know. So, I mean, all compliments, you know, compared to Persia, which was conquered in one generation, or Egypt, which was conquered in one go with one battle, uh, India has done very well. But yes, ultimately, you see, they had to admit that uh, at some times, you see, Islamic forces were stronger. Though against them, India also managed to reconquer, with Shivaji, with uh, the Peshwas. Then came England, but even England wasn't so strong, because, you see, India is strong, but not always strong against everyone. So it was defeated by England. But then England itself, your enemy, also has its own enemies. It was greatly weakened by Germany. You know, it could not withstand the pressure from America that, and, and the Soviet Union that wanted decolonization. And India itself, of course, grew stronger. It had all these trained men from the British Indian Army in the Second World War. It had shown what it could do with Subhash Bose the naval mutiny and so on. So all kinds of forces worked against Britain and Britain gave in because they understood that they, they, they couldn't win the war anymore if they had wanted uh, a war. Uh, so, I mean, this is reality, you know. There, are, there is an equation of forces and sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But on the whole, I think uh, India did well and, you know, did not prove so very weak. In fact, I can enumerate a number of factors of weakness, like all this, you know, caste division that everybody talks about, um, that, you know, would help India lose those wars, and yet they won them. And so, you know, I think India has given proof of a lot of bravery and a lot of skill, not, not, not every skill, sometimes they lost, but still, you see, they did very well, and ultimately they won through.